fight of the week. That's what we are talking about. Michael Hunter, Sergey Kuzman, WBA Intercontinental title, heavyweights, right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A, the Ready Ready Talking Boxing, or should we say Sergey Kuzman versus, versus Michael Hunter? No, it is the WBA Intercontinental Champion, Sergey Kuzman. And this fight, folks, this fight, folks, if you are a first time viewer to the Double RT Boxing Show, thank you for your time and support. Quick rundown what the show is about. Quick motto is best versus the best. On this show, that lingo is number one through 15. That's what we cover. We cover the belts, how they get, how they climb the, the, the rungs, climb the ladder grab the belts along the way to the title shot. So that is why, and if you already tuned into the show, you already subscribed and you already part of the Box and Junkie Rehab, you know how Mr. A feels about the Intercontinental belt. You know, you new viewers, we talk belts here. I say it again, the Intercontinental belt is the belt you want to have. That gets you your title shot next. A quick rundown, Continental belts, National belts, Intercontinental belts, continental, continent to continent. Intercontinental, you can travel a body of water to get to a new continent and challenge someone. So when you're intercontinental champion, that means you can then travel through the world to fight the world champion. That doesn't happen without the intercontinental belt too often. It, it just start looking at fights. Once in a while, you might see a continental champion because his country is his continent is next to the champion's continent. Once in a while, it, it, it happens like that, but it's usually a very popular money fight or the guy is an intercontinental champion. And Sergey Kuzman got the bank in intercontinental, the WBA heavyweight belt, when a price bicep ruptured. That fight was for that vacant belt. He's made a few half-ass defenses of it um who has he fought since you know because since since him and michael hunter you can say sergey kuzman they always bring it up during the press conference i mean that press conference of his fights that he's being fast track he's oh, i don't really know anyone's amateur shit so this is not that type of boxing show i'm a fan just like you at 6'4", against 6'2", 75-inch reach against a 79, Hunter is going to be having that pick party, pick party, picking them apart. 17-1, 12 KOs, 15-0 with 11 KOs for Sergey Kuzman. Now, I said he got that belt against David Price in 2018. Defended it against Leron Michu and Joey De Devjinko. In that same three-fight process, um, Hunter has defeated his better of the three, Bacoli, Ustinov, and Fabio. Now, we know Fabio wasn't really shit. He was a, a gatekeeper type warrior, but Hunter knocked him out. That's, you can say the age, whatever, but he did what he was supposed to do and even in a greater fashion. You know what I mean? So he. It, it's kind of hard to knock someone when they did what they're supposed to do. Uh, Ustinov, again, a nice name on the record. Same, you can say it's the same fighter as a, a, a Laron Mitchell, but which one's a better name? So you could say Hunter has been. So you got these guys are 31, 32 years old. Kuzman, they say, is fast track. Again, they 18 fights to 15 fights. Same basically career. So as as I'm saying, like who is at a better at the spot in their career right now, being fast track? It's about the same. You got if you want to take it back further, you got Michael Tan. No one's really giving credit for that shit. Amir Mansour fight ended, no contest. So the two biggest names on Kuzman's resume, the fights never went the final bis distance. One stopped on the head bunts, head bunts. And other guy's bicep ripped in the middle of the fight. So, who, who, is he, will he have won his best two opponents? Or will he have lost his best two opponents? No one ever knows. The fight's never finished. As for Hunter, he beat Piccoli. I think that gets pretty fucking praise around the board 
because I don't think anyone saw saw him going into winning that fight, let alone the way he took it to Bacoli. Now you can say Bacoli's arm towards the end, but he was beat Bacoli's ass all the way up to that arm injury. You know, he got Usyk on there. Usyk gassed him out, took him to later rounds, but no one's no one touched Usyk like that since Hunter, and, and Usyk is just basically whooping ass so much that he's going to the heavyweights and even threatening some heavyweight. So he put it he put it on Usyk the best anyone's done. Uh Ego Kalaskin when he his his move up to I believe that was his, I think that was his move up to heavyweight. A nice little introductory fight. That name that's a good name to have on the resume. Better than Jeremiah Carpinci and uh, he KO'd him. So Hunter, to me, has been fighting the better competition, doing better, getting better results, showing better work. And I'm, I'm picking Hunter to go into this fight and become the new WBO Intercontinental Champion. And that's going to be fucking huge. Because if that's, like I said, that is the belt you want to have to get. Because that, that's going to get you a title shot. And him having that... <clears throat> That's going to be a three-heavy-headed American. You're going to have Ruiz Wilder. And if, like I said, if Hunter gets this belt, that's a high belt. And the way the belts are being uh, not given out, but talked about and pumped up on TV, the lineal belts and undisputed belts, even that's a good one. Fuck it. Hunter's the Intercontinental Champion. Pose with that shit. Pose with that shit. Put it all in front of the camera. I'm a champion too. Oh, hey, how come someone's not fighting this champion, Hunter? I'm saying Hunter who... Because I think... Kuzman's a pretty decent boxer. He, he's, he's no slouch in there. He knows what he's doing. He has good body work. Good, you know, works off the jab. And we've seen Hunter get hit. We've seen every fight Hunter gets hit. Like, he's a little looser at the hips, you know, bend down, leave his hands down, pulls back sometimes. Sometimes you wonder, like, is he over-aggressive to take the chance to make you miss, to fire back with shit? Because he has fast hands. For heavyweight now, he has uh, not just fast hands, combination hands. You know, his punches come more than one. So... And it's and it's up, down, hooks, body stabs, uppercut. He throws various punches in in the combinations at a good speed for a heavyweight. Like if you see when he finished uh, Bacoli, dude, he was hooking them, jabbing them, jabbing down to the body. Another left hook, right. He he was up and down. Like you couldn't predict where his punches would come in. And I think with that hand speed. And again, folks, a four-inch reach. And I think he has the movement. He has pretty good leg movement for a heavyweight. Leg movement and feet movement. I think he's going to be able to move around, pop shop enough shots off Kurt, Sergey Kuzman, and then start doing what he did to Bacoli. You know, stand his ground here and there and just fire off combinations, pick him up, use his hand speed combinations to, to land more than Kuzman. And from what I've seen, Kuzman looked like he could hit good. Now, now Kuzman could be just one of those people who, who just hits like a fucking brick and we, we, we just don't see it. Because he just punches so damn slow and collectively he just gets every punch together. It just looks normal. Now, he could hit hard as fuck. 15 wins, 11 knockouts. He could. We see Michael Hunter have a pretty good chin. Now, if Kuzman just lands one of those cool, calm, slow-ass punches on him, they're, they're not, like, super slow, but compared to the speed of combination that Michael Hunter has to, on the get-off, Hunter has the faster hands. If Kuzman is able to, is boxing, clip him, he clips him, but I just see, is it, even as I think Sergey Kuzman has a good repertoire of weapons. I just don't think he has the hand speed or the 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 legs. He may have the foots to kind of like c 
cut him off here and there, but I don't know he's going to have the legs to keep up. I don't think it's his foot. His footwork is as good as Michael Hunter's legs. So I think Hunter's going to use the legs on him, pick him apart, use that jab from the distance, and then start, you know, as we saw in Bacoli and Usyk, you know, he finds his moments to just fire off shots. Ustinov, here to, he'll finally fire off shots. And I think, I think he's, and with Kuzmin high off guard, I think he's just going to get Kuzmin. I think he's going to, I think, I think, will he stop him right here on the double RT box and show him your host, Mr. A? Uh, yeah, fuck it. Why not? Why not? And, you know, we're going to go on the limb and we're going to say Michael Hunter is going to keep this fucking nice streak he has going just as of name building. Not only is he going to win, he's going to do. And I, I'm bad. I'll be jinxing the fuck out of people, too. I'll be jinxing them bad. Sergey Kuzman, he just clipped the shit out of Michael Hunter and beat him. We beat him by points. You know, because I said, if Michael Hunter wins, that's a nice three head. USA little heavyweight thing, you know, creep up in the picture, Michael Hunter. But I'm like, I, I, I say he'll get a TKO stoppage. I think the ref will stop it. I don't think he's gonna knock Sergey Kuzman out, but I think, I think he's gonna daze him and throw a combination on him, and the referee will stop it. I say, 12 round fight, Hunter be going distance. I say, I say. He'll, he'll, he'll get Kuzman right here on the double RT box. So let's let's say, fuck it, let's go 11th round shocking TKO stoppage of Sergey Kuzman and becoming the new WBO, WBA, I'm sorry, Intercontinental Heavyweight title. Michael Hunter. Is this even an upset? Is it the cold main event? This is a good ass fight. This is what the double RT boxing show is all about. Two fighters. Climbing the ranks, getting their title shot, and like I said, these guys were at the WBA Intercontinental. So you got the champion at number five, Sergey Kuzman, WBA number five, and you got the Hunter, Michael Hunter, <laughs> the Bounty Hunter, at number nine. So you got number five and number nine battling as the Intercontinental champion. The next, the, the winner of this fight should be in lineup with all those fucking belts that the WBA has. But the winner of this fight should be in lineup to fight the gold. He should fight Joe Joyce because I believe Char has to fight either the number, the way the, the, the regular champion usually works, he fights someone within the top five. Everyone in the top five seems to be a little tied up. Usyk is uh, that mandatory in the WBO. And there's the rumors of Tyrone Sprague, who's number four in the WBO. So I don't see number two, Usyk. Number three, Anthony Joshua. We know what's happening. Number four, Otto Wallen. We know what's happening. Number five, Kuzman fighting Hunter. Number six, Philip Hoverovich. Maybe. Number seven, number seven, Adam Novaki. Mm, mm, number five in the WBC, so who knows? Maybe. And then you got number eight, Pavekin. Number nine, Hunter. So Pavekin might try and slide his ass up in there with the matchroom connection. But you can see how the winner of this fight kind of catapults right into that gold section. It's It's like... Like I said, you got the super champion. Like I said, right here on the Double RT Boxing Show, the belts are the talk. The super champion, the regular champion, fights like the best of the top five. And the, the gold fights the best of the bottom half. You know? And then as you prove yourself, it goes on like that. And when you get the intercontinental title, right in the middle is five and nine. The, that, that person fights the gold, and then, like I said, the Intercontinental goes on. And with Ruiz and Joshua and all that being tied up, this Intercontinental is going to have themselves a shot at that gold, and then eventually the regular. The winner of this fight 
keep an eye on whoever wins this WBO, WBA Intercontinental. They're getting themselves a shot as soon as all this. They're going to, like I said, even if it's not Andy Ruiz, they're getting themselves a shot at either that Manu Char or Joy Joyce. They're going to get that belt shot right here on the WRT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. Giving you a thumbs for your time and support. Bring it on back to the show. Thank you very much.